If you're drilling into any kind of masonry or concrete, an SDS drill is a machine that you would normally use. There are a few different standards. There's SDS, there's SDS Plus and SDS Max. The SDS and the SDS Plus are slightly different. We'll go into that in further detail in a minute. We've got four different SDS machines here. This one is a beast. This is the Bosch Multi-Drill. That is a 240 volt version. That is a very handy piece of kit. You'll notice if you look on this machine that we have three functions. We have hammer only, drill only, and drill with hammer. That means that you can actually use this machine for chiseling if you insert a chisel in the end of it. So that's useful if you're breaking up masonry or if you're removing plaster or towels. The beauty of the bigger machines like that is that you can drill very large holes with them. So you could drill an hole of that diameter, absolutely no problem with a machine that is that powerful. The 12 volt machine has its uses. You can use that in confined spaces or if you're working at height, if you need to drill holes up to 13 millimeter. Then we get onto the bigger machines. This is the one that I tend to use. This is the DeWalt 18 volt. That can drill quite large holes. Again, it's only got hammer action or no hammer action. There's no chisel facility on that drill. If I need to drill something a little bit bigger, need a bit more power, I use the Bosch 24 volt. That is a very powerful machine. Again, this has only got drill or drill and hammer. It doesn't have the rotor stop on so that you can use it for chiseling. Some modern cordless machines do have that function. All these machines here are actually SDS plus machines. They take SDS plus drill bits that look like that on the end. SDS drill bits simply have two slots. That's one type and I think we have another type there which is an LT drill bit. They will not fit in the SDS plus machines. SDS drills are only really made for drilling masonry. You can get wood bits for them which do work but the main purpose of these machines is to drill masonry. If you get a chuck adapter that fits in the end there and enables you to use another chuck for drilling metal, it doesn't work all that well. You get a lot of wobble and it's not accurate. This machine is very good because you can actually change the chuck on it. Very simple to do. Just twist the SDS chuck off and then you can simply click the standard chuck onto the machine. Like so. Once you've changed the chuck on this machine, you cannot use hammer action. That chuck is only to hold standard drill bits. You cannot use any drill bits in there and use it with hammer action, you'll just damage the chuck. Well now just remove the chuck and that will enable you to see exactly how the SDS mechanism works. The chuck itself actually has ball bourbons in it. They actually grip on the slots of the drill, which stops it from popping out. So that actually holds the drill in position. And then that part there is actually the hammer mechanism. And that actually hammers backwards and forwards, pushing the drill bit in and out. If we insert a drill bit into there, just put it in and twist it. If you look on the back of there, you can actually see the drill bit and that is where that hammer actually strikes the drill bit. So that moves that bit backwards and forwards whilst rotating it that gives us the hammer action. If you look at the keyless chuck for the machine, you can see that the actual hole doesn't go all the way through it. That is the reason why you should never use hammer action once you've put the keyless chuck on the machine. You'll just damage the chuck. SDS is a German term but the widely accepted English translation is Special Direct System. To use it, you simply get your drill bit, push it in. Sometimes you have to turn it until it engages. Once it's pushed in, that is it. The drill bit will not come out until you release it. You can release it by pulling back on that plastic part of the chuck. That then enables you to remove the drill bit. One thing you should do with an SDS drill bit is grease it every now and again. So if you just take it and put a little bit of grease on there, That just keeps the actual parts in the chuck lubricated and helps them work that little bit easier. As I said earlier, the larger machine like this can be used for chiseling. 
To do that, you just get an SDS plus chisel. You can get various different types. Push that into the machine, and then you can switch off the rotor reaction. Just have it on ammo, and you can use that for chiseling. So it's a very handy piece of kit. SDS machines are very handy. They're absolutely brilliant at drilling masonry and concrete. They're okay on wood, but they're useless on metal if you're using a chuck adapter. I hope that's been useful, pointing out a few features of SDS drills. And if you are choosing one, just remember that cheap ones do not last as long as decent make ones. This Bosch multi-drill, I've had this for about 15 years and it's never let me down once. It's been an extremely good drill. The DeWalt, I've probably had that 10 years. And again, that has never let me down once.